this setup is gonna get me shots that look like this. the main reason I picked up this camera. Having the app control so that you can do tracking and track subjects behind you while you're driving allows me to do a one-man show getting rollers of my friends without having to hang out the window being kind of dangerous. So that's the main reason I got this. But there's still a lot of other cool stuff that you may not know you can do with this. feature that I just used this camera for are those hyperlapses. Traditionally making hyperlapses is not the easiest thing ever, but with this camera and the tracking, it's super easy. All you have to do is highlight a subject using either the screen here, double tapping, or using the app to highlight it. And then once you've done that, you're able to just walk and record. And then the result you get are those very smooth hyperlapses after you speed up the footage. So the last really cool thing you can do with this is once again, using the tracking, to give you locked on shots when you're filming stuff on a car. So let's go through that. So what you do is you double tap on where you want to highlight and from there you'll have a perfect track on what you're trying to do. So the goal of this video isn't to review this camera, but more to show you my use cases and the reason why I got it. Because there's a lot of people out there already making reviews and talking about the specs and everything, because this camera is amazing, don't get me wrong. For its size, what it can do, it's, it's crazy. But in the end of the day, what are you actually using it for? And for me, the main reason is those roller shots. Those driving shots look amazing on this and allowing me to do that all by myself with it mounted on the back of the car safely is huge. That's a big win for me. But the other added benefits of having that tracking abilities to do things like those hyperlapses and doing small edits for things like social media with ease is a huge bonus as well. And I think I will be using this camera quite a bit. But with that, you know, leave a comment down below what you think of this camera, what you're gonna use it for if you're thinking of getting one or if you have one already. Be interesting to see what other people are thinking with this because it's very a very capable camera and I think a lot of people will actually find it quite useful for their workflow, especially with social media and stuff like that. I think this is amazing for social media. One final thing with this camera though, be very careful. <laughs> It is extremely fragile. I learned that the hard way. This is my second one. Put the wrist strap on it. Don't be silly. Put this thing on the camera because I was using, the first day I got it, I was using it. I dropped it from about waist height. Gimbal broke, screen broke. But luckily I had DJI Care. I got a replacement really quick. Actually, that process was super seamless. I'm very impressed actually with that. But yes. Don't be like me. Put this on right from right when you open it out of the box, put this wrist strap on if you're gonna be hand holding it all the time and not using any other accessories because you don't wanna drop it. it it'll probably break. Very fragile. Yeah. All right, <laughs> that's the video. Thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and the like button, do all that stuff that helps me out or share the video. That's a big one too. Help me reach more people. All right, thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Bye. This video took way longer than it should have to make. I don't know why, it's not even that long. But I want it to have to be good.